Field Robotics program is a series of robotics CT classes that the high school offers. I participated in a lot of the middle school robotics programs that we had available. And when I got to high school, I actually got the opportunity to join Advanced Robotics. So we are very fortunate. We got a new building. We have a team of about 120 students. Some of them are my eighth period honors and advanced students. Students who have a special interest in coding or like getting to build something hands-on, robotics would be the pathway for you. We are learning how to produce all kinds of multimedia content and we're doing it through the lens of journalism, which is the same kind of writing that all workplaces have. I'm part of the print team here at The Hub. I manage with other editors the newspaper that comes out once a month. I chose this pathway because I was introduced to journalism in, I think, eighth grade. The Hub team actually came to my school and talked to me and showed me the newspaper and I touched it and feeling that newspaper paper, I was like, wow, this is like real. They can do video, they can do podcasts, they can do graphics, take photographs, and do all of those different things. Students come out as very versatile multimedia content producers and have that opportunity to learn those skills here. It is biology and sustainable agriculture. It's a stepping stone for the pathways. It's the first class for both the ag animal sciences and for the plant sciences pathways. We learn how to work with the plants, we learn how to work with animals, we learn how to test soil quality, like we learn everything to do with fun. So veterinary and animal sciences, like all of our other pathways, provides real world experience for our students who are in the pathway. So this is an opportunity for them to work with industry professionals as well as animals on site. So we have a barn and we also have a chicken coop, we also have plants, so it's an opportunity for them to just get their hands dirty and learn more about veterinary practices. You'll find that many students will take any ag course just so they can pursue their FFA efforts, degrees, promotion, that's what connects them. So this class is Ag Engineering 1. They're learning some of the basics about welding. You get to learn how to set up welders, use certain machines, get the right settings on everything. So it just basically gives you that knowledge to be around the machinery and operate it safely. You know, the kids are doing a variety of things right now. What you can see behind me is mostly woodwork, turning projects on a wood lathe. They're using band saws, they're using drill presses, they're using hand sanders. This is important for students really because they have fun at school, it connects them with school, and they want to be active and build things. This particular class is Advanced Auto. It's one of three auto shop classes we have here. We try to teach them how to be comfortable with machines, tools. I really didn't expect to like it that much, but the second I got here, I was like, wait, this is actually fun. I want to keep going. And this was mainly the class I was looking forward to for like the rest of the day. I actually got to learn about something that's a male dominant field and got to enjoy myself. The fact that we have this program here is pretty cool. Okay. That one's not bad. This program, I first heard about it sophomore year, right when they were getting started. And then junior year, when I actually had the opportunity to take Principles of Biomedical Science in here with Dr. Farron. I want to go into the health science field when I'm older. I want to work in pediatrics, work with kids for sure. The health science medical technology program or sector under career technical education actually prepares students for anything that they want to do in health education. If they're interested in that, it's interesting, it's innovative, and it prepares them for that. We start off with teaching the fundamentals of website design and touch a little bit where you're currently doing a unit on game design because everyone loves to play games so it's very fun and at the end of this unit we're going to have them like create their own game, their own project. We learn a lot of cool stuff in this class and what I like about it is that there's a lot of variety in what we get to do so like each kid can choose whether they want to code with Python or JavaScript. You use a computer every day and if you are able to code, even if you don't have a career in it, you can at least understand somewhat in the background of what's even going on. It is also fun. They're learning the basics of their camera, how the camera functions, how to use the camera. They made a student produce camera manual, which is a student guide to using our Canon cameras. 
I chose this class to learn new things about photography that I didn't know before. Getting the right angles and creating contrast. The subject of photography has so many facets. You need to learn about light, optics, all the settings on the camera, and then also the field of photography, what other photographers have done, and how to develop your own vision, your own style in photography. We offer three Pathways classes, Beginning, Intermediate, and Advanced Media Arts. We use Photoshop and the whole Adobe Suite and we edit photos and videos. In Advanced and Intermediate, we're working on a short film project. So we have three groups and they're each working on one app. They pitch the story idea and we're going with it. They're also just getting to use their creative voice. The most important thing I want them to learn is communication presentation skills and slide deck skills and creating graphics and taking pictures and we also do AV. They've done some video editing and done their own interviews with somebody in their lives. So all of that is preparing them to be good communicators because no matter what path they take, it's gonna actually like pay off later on. So my job is to pair students and take them to businesses and pair them with mentors who have actually worked in the business so they get to learn more hands-on. It's like giving me actual experience doing stuff, like whatever I do later, this would still help me. Initially before, I thought I wanted to do graphic design, but through taking this internship, I realized I want to focus more on user experience over commercial and marketing. So we want to get our students excited about job opportunities and different career options that they have. And so we invite a lot of businesses that we work with the different pathways and the industries that we're connected with, but then we open it up for all kinds of other businesses to come out as well. CTESA stands for Career Technical Education Student Ambassador Program, and it's a new program started by Dr. Farron. And we're really just paving a pathway for like future students that come to the high school and want to be involved. We have this thing called the CTE Roadshow, which is where we as high school students travel to the different junior highs and teach them about the different CTE pathways. So when they're making their course selections, they have a better understanding of what they're getting into. It's students talking to industry members or community partners during advisories when they talk about what's happening in their fields, what are the pros and the cons, what are the wants, what are the needs. It's making an impact wherever we can.